Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, and my name is Tatiana Shalepko. I'm Cambridge University Press ELT consultant. We will talk today about thinking skills and how to develop them within the uh, second graders of new Ukrainian school. And uh, before we start, I would uh, tell you a few things. You have uh, in, in your interface of the webinar, you have a hand a button of a hand and a button with a question. Whenever you want to ask a question or tell something, you can uh, type your question under the question mark button and uh, I will see this question. I will try to answer all the questions after the webinar, uh, but if there is something uh, urgent, I will be uh, answering on the way. Um, also, there is a hands up button. Uh, I will ask you now to um, to push this button if you can hear me and you can see the presentation. Okay, I have a lot of hands up. Okay, so we will we will use this button once again. You have to press it now again in order to put your hands down. Uh, and uh, okay, I will be watching whether this is happening. So if there are no issues with the sound and the screen, I guess we can start. Okay, great. Everybody's here. Let's begin. Uh, and what we are going to talk about at this webinar is how the brain works. We'll look at a few systems of how the brain works. We will look at Bloom's taxonomy, revised Bloom's taxonomy, and check a few uh, Bloom's taxonomy in practice activities. And also we will look how it works at English lessons and how it works um, with the books, with the course books for English. Particularly, we will look at Quick Minds uh, 2 for Ukraine. And also other, um, I'd say, components uh, which we created specifically for the purposes of uh, developing thinking skills. So, uh, here you can see the brain, and uh, I would say that uh, these are two systems of how the brain works. Uh, system one is fast thinking, and system two is slow thinking. Let's look at some examples and uh, look, look at the screen and try to answer to the questions to yourself. You don't have to type anything in the chat. Just look at this. So we can see a lady and uh, uh, we can see that she's blonde and most probably she's angry. And uh, uh, most probably the next thing that's going to happen, she will tell off somebody uh, and uh, well, she's going to be really furious. This is how our system one works. We um, we have the, this is how our intuition works. Yeah, and uh, we use very simple uh, processes to understand um, the meaning of this picture. But if we look at this uh, picture, yeah, we have uh, 19 multiplied by 26. Uh, here we we understand that we need to multiply and that most probably this number will be uh, a big number, but we don't spend energy on this. Uh, I'm sure that nobody is now multiplying it in order to tell me the answer uh, or would rather use a calculator to multiply it. Uh, because this requires much more energy and uh, some real purpose for, uh, to solve this problem. Uh, but there are tricky things. For example, uh, we can see that uh, these, all of these lines uh, on the top picture, they uh, they look 
different size. But actually, as you see in the second picture, they are the same size, absolutely. And they are parallel and the same size. But still, when we are looking in the picture one, here where all the arrows are black, <clears throat> uh, we cannot help but we believe our system one, that they are different sizes. System two makes us use more energy to, uh, in order to understand that the first one is false. Or this picture, it takes us really uh, hard time to understand that all the lines are parallel and uh, well still if you look at it for even longer time they start moving uh, and this is what our system one is doing uh, it leads us to fast decision fast thinking um, mostly based on our intuition and our background knowledge uh, because if we um, if we know that things are parallel they are parallel uh, in all the directions but if we look closer to all of the lines we see that they are parallel and um, in this moment our pupils become bigger uh, our muscles are in uh, uh, tension we spend much more energy to uh, to make our system two, which is slow thinking, work. Or this example, uh, all the men are the same size, but the perspective uh, gives us the false impression that they are different size and the third man is the biggest, while the first man is the smallest. But actually, they are all the same size. And again, uh, it takes us more energy to understand this. Um, with slower thinking, uh, for example, uh, here we need to um, add, uh, add one digit to each of the digits, uh, digits, yeah? 3 plus 1, 4, 7 plus 1, 8, 9 plus 1, 10, we write just 0, 5 plus 1, 6. We go further, yeah, uh, we have this, um, this number. I will ask you now to uh, think very fast about the uh, answer. Okay, next. Next. Okay, we will stop here. And most probably uh, your system two was um, was working really hard, but if I continued to the same kind of task, you would just go uh, blind. I mean, not blind literally, but you would stop seeing the correct answers. Um, you, you would stop uh, working on the correct answers because first of all, there is no purpose for that. And uh, second, you are too concentrated on one task. And most probably you haven't seen that when I was Okay, we'll come back for a while. Um, when I put this answer here, this one wasn't the, uh, the next answer because here we can see one and zero. Uh, this one is correct, but most probably you didn't notice that the color of arrows changed. So this is uh, how system two works. It's very directed and very focused process, which consumes a lot of energy. And it is important to um, understand that the brain of kids work the same way. They cannot learn different things at the same time, and they cannot pay attention to um, all the systems, especially if it's language system, most probably the alphabet is new for them. Them. the words are new for them, the pictures and the methods of learning are new for them. So we need to focus on one thing at a time, especially at the first grade. At the second grade, we can uh, add some higher order thinking or some more complicated processes, but we will look at how they work a little bit later. So now one more, uh, one more task for you to see how the brain works. 
uh, here is a picture and the question how many animals of each kind did moses take on the ark and you need to answer now very very fast i will uh, turn on the poll uh, and you need to answer this question so here is the poll you will need to uh, press the button All right, we are still collecting responses, but looks like 50% of people voted. So we will wait for 10 more seconds. Okay, let's look at the results. Let's look at the results. And you can see that 82% voted for two, 14% uh, voted for four, and 5% voted for one. Uh, I will now hide the poll. And, okay, before that, I'll look at the... Uh -huh. Okay, just a second. Okay. I think we are back to the screen now. So, uh, thank you those who answered. Okay, just a second, just a second. I will look at some answers which are not in the poll. Yes, thank you very much. Some of you did pay attention that Moses didn't do that. Yeah, Moses didn't. It was Noah who uh, took animals uh, to the ark. So the, again, this is how uh, our system one and system two uh, work separately. We were very focused on the uh, outcome of the task that we didn't see the fallacy in the task. Most of us, some of us, did see uh, that something went wrong yeah with with this picture and something uh, is not according to uh, to the reality uh, and yeah uh, it is it is important okay i will look at the questions sorry there was something no sound. Can you tell me if you can hear me? Okay, I guess everything is fine with the sound. I uh, will just type the answer. All right. Uh, sorry, sorry for that. I will just send send the answer to those who have problems. Okay, <clears throat> so whenever you have problems with the sound please check check what's going on with your settings because uh, on our from our side everything is uh, is okay uh, we will move on 
and look at one more task and then move to Bloom's taxonomy. So when I show you the word wash and I show you this word, which is, what is the first association? Now you can type the, the uh, answer in the question box. All right, I've got 30 soaps at once. Thank you very much. Yes, most probably we think about soap. When I show you eat, yeah, uh, and the same word, well, you would tell me soup. And uh, according according to this, you um, you turn on your fast thinking skills, your system one. And we need uh, to um, understand that system one works uh, mostly, relies mostly on the lower thinking skills. System two uh, relies on higher, uh, higher order thinking skills. And uh, what, what if we think about critical thinking, uh, which statement is correct? I will turn on the poll again so you can uh, answer. Please now read the answers because you will have to remember them in order to uh, to answer in the poll. There will be only one, two and three. So what is critical thinking? One, reading what experts have said about a subject and summarizing their main points. Two, identifying all the bad points about a particular piece of writing. Three, reading a range of different views about a subject and using this knowledge to shape your own thoughts. Which one, which of the statements is critical thinking? And I will start another poll. I hope you remembered the questions. Just so you know, there is sound. I'm just not talking while you're voting. In order to have more, um, more answers, I will repeat because I, I know that you don't see the screen now. One, reading what experts have said about a subject and summarizing their main points. Two, identifying all the bad points about the subject, um, about a particular piece of writing. Three, reading a range of different views about a subject and using this knowledge to shape your own thoughts. Five more seconds for voting. All right, we will finish. I'm closing the poll now and uh, sharing it so you can see it. 78% uh, vote for the third statement, which is reading a range of different views about a subject and using this knowledge to shape your own thoughts. 14% uh, identifying all the bad points about a particular piece of writing and one reading what experts have said about a subject and summarizing their main points. Um, okay, I'm hiding the results of the poll. Uh, okay, can you see the screen now?
Okay, there was a question. Can you see the screen with the uh, statements now? Okay, yes. Thank you very much. I will keep the questions open. So whenever you have another one, I will see it at once. Um, fine, let's look at the correct statement. Yes, the third one is the correct statement because the first one uh, summarizing, it's not critical thinking, it's not higher, uh, higher order uh, thinking skills uh, in, uh, as so. Yeah. Identifying all the bad points about a particular piece of writing, uh, this is not critical thinking because usually we have, um, if we are talking about identifying points, we usually, um, in, in terms of critical thinking, are contrasting. And to uh, contrast something, we need to find bad and good points and actually summarize. So these two points could, if they go together, uh, then maybe that could look like critical thinking but anyways uh, reading a range of different views about the subject and using knowledge to shape your own thoughts this is something uh, that is the closest to critical thinking because um, uh, here we have only input and we operate the input without any uh, output. In the statement three, we, um, we have input in order to create something new. So it's uh, somewhere on the, at, at the edge of critical and creative thinking as well. Uh, and finally, we got to Bloom's revised taxonomy, uh, lower order thinking skills. I know um, that most of you uh, have seen this pyramid before, yeah, uh, and in lower order thinking skills we have remember, understand and apply. In higher order thinking skills we have analyze, evaluate and create. And uh, I will give you another task. Uh, which I will ask you to complete maybe on a piece of paper. Yeah, if you uh, have a piece of paper in front of you, take it. Or maybe uh, if you are at the computer and you have your phone to make notes, uh, take your phones. Uh, if not, try to remember. Uh, ah, before we move to the task, let's uh, let's look, let's uh, decipher what all of these um, like stages of the pyramids uh, of the pyramid mean. While we are doing this, you can look for some notebook uh, or a piece of paper. So remember when you retrieve relevant knowledge from your long-term memory. Uh, understand when you construct meaning from oral and written information. Apply when you do or use a procedure in a specific situation. Analyze when you break information into its component parts and identify how they relate to each other. Evaluate when you make judgments and decide on how good or appropriate something is. Create when you put elements together to create a, a whole or a new piece of information. So we deciphered this. If needed, you can make a print screen to use it later when you uh, complete the task. And let's look at the task finally. Sorry. Okay, you see, um, you can see 18 different activities and the task now is to um, to match these activities to the appropriate uh, stage of Bloom's taxonomy thinking skills, higher order and lower order thinking skills. Here in the first row we have lower order and the second one um, we have higher order thinking or as they uh, you know, like to abbreviate things, it's lots and hots. Lots lower order thinking, hots higher order thinking. 
And again, your task is now to put uh, all of these uh, 18 types of activities under the appropriate stage of thinking. For example, remember it goes to recite a poem. So I've given you the first hint. And in two or three minutes, I will, uh, I will show you the correct answers. If you want to uh, send your answers in the question um, chat, not chat, but question box, please do so. I will, uh, I can see them now. Okay, if you don't have a piece of paper, just look at these activities and think of where they can go. It doesn't matter uh, if, if you don't have it. Just read all the uh, types of activities and think where they should go. I will show the correct answers in a minute. If you want, you can type the answers in the chat. Okay, Some, someone asks to show the definitions again. Just for a second, I will go back. And back to the tasks. There is no video, please uh, make sure make sure you are using a good browser. Uh, for example, it always works better with uh, Google Chrome. All right. Oh, thank you. Maria Sadova has answered all of these. Natalia Tokaychuk, thank you very much. Answered all the uh, all the questions. 
Thank you, Natalia Komarova, for your answers. I will show everything once more. Okay, so I'm showing you the correct answers. You can uh, check them with your papers. And we see, remember, it's recite a poem, make a timeline of events. Uh, sorry. Uh, and write a list of keywords about a subject. Understand, it's classify objects by putting them in order. Uh, it's summarize the text um, using bullet points and retell a story. Apply is translate text into a different language. Um, it's writing a caption for a picture and collect relevant sources and articles about a particular subject. Uh, analyze, design a questionnaire, um, make a Venn diagram to show how things are similar or different. Uh, and uh, it's make a flow chart to show the important stages of a process Evaluate, prepare a list of criteria to mark an essay, uh, make a prediction based on information and give feedback about someone's presentation. Create is create a new product, is create a painting, illustration, cartoon and write an advertisement. So creative tasks uh, seem to be easier than, for example, analytical or evaluation tasks. But uh, they, they look easier at the first glance, but actually to create something, students need to have a lot of background and uh, to be able to evaluate and analyze and apply what they've remembered and understood in order to create something new. Uh, right, we will move on. Um, and uh, another task for you is to put the countries in a Venn diagram. What is Venn diagram? Is It's something uh, that you can uh, find what is similar and what is different. It, this is um, actually uh, lower... Um, well, this one is higher order thinking skills, uh, somewhere in between, yeah, because this is uh, somewhere uh, between the, let's look at our pyramid, uh, somewhere between uh, applying and analyzing, yeah, but it's not creating anything new. So, Venn diagram, uh, here you can uh, find, put the countries in the Venn diagram, yeah, uh, and for example, landlocked, yeah, something uh, with uh, close borders, a uh, smaller population than UK and situated in Europe. Uh, well, I don't think we need to spend time on this uh, and we can see that China doesn't go anywhere uh, then we uh, look at the rest of them. We have, um, sorry, uh, we have France in Europe. We have uh, Jamaica smaller than UK. Yeah, and most probably if we worked on this with students, we would need, uh, um, oh, sorry, uh, we would need um, uh, a map to uh, work on that and most probably the internet. And later on, uh, we could use this to create an essay or another uh, to present this diagram to talk about different cultures and uh, different cities. If this is if we are talking about adults, yeah, and this is a task for adults or for teenagers. How all this works, I will omit the fallacy. Sorry. How all this works with young learners? Uh, let's. Look here, comparisons, same or different. 
If we look at this picture, maybe some of you who took part in my webinars have seen this uh, task, but anyways, it goes here uh, to, to understand which order uh, and how you know, we can um, apply critical thinking and, uh, uh, well, other thinking skills uh, to different tasks. So, see, uh, here we can see that one tree is big, one tree is small. What is the same and what is different this is the task yeah and we need to teach our students to uh, understand the task properly so what is the same and we can uh, say shape yeah uh, color what else is the same They are both plants, yes. Leaves, kind, okay. Type of object, branches, and so on. So, one up lens, well. <laughs> Color, subject, okay. Thank you very much for your answers. Class, yes. So, whatever, uh, whatever language you can operate, you would, um, you, you would use it, yeah? Amount of sticks. Okay, thank you very much. And what is different? Uh, here we uh, can talk about um, the size or maybe perspective or distance. Uh, if we are adults, yep, for kids, it's enough to say that plants, they're both plants or the same shape and different size. And we can use other uh, objects in order to activate their thinking skills. Because um, lower order thinking is to say big tree, small tree, uh, new car, old car. And um, telling what is the same and what is different, it's already closer to higher order thinking skills but still basic and directed on um, young learners. Yeah, so what is different? Age, yeah, they have to say age or um, they have to say, uh, I don't know, type uh, of uh, car. If, if they are boys, they would see that these are different cars. What is the same? The kind of object, uh, well, there are more different things than the same things. Here, they can also, directions different, uh, color different, shape the same, size the same, and so on and so far. So, um, it's easy, you, you will not um, find the direct tasks like that uh, in, in the books, but for example, uh, thinking, choosing, evaluating um, skills, uh, and and uh, comparing and contrasting skills yeah uh, we can uh, we can make them on our own for example um, we can ask students to say uh, to uh, count the letters in the words uh, to count the letters in the text and give them small different small sentences to count the sounds the, so these are uh, think, cr critical thinking already or how many words um, with a eh are there in the task and they have to scan the text to see how many a eh there is in the task and it's uh, again two systems working because they need to compare where a eh is a eh and a eh is a uh, a or it sounds in a different way. So uh, we we can activate their thinking skills uh, just with a first glance on a task or uh, here. Well, this is the direct comparison, yeah, measuring and telling who's bigger, who's smaller, height, uh, height, length, and so on. Uh, here we have a critical thinking task, which is focusing attention. Um, what's missing? Yeah, triangle. What's missing? Uh, a rectangle, and so on. Um, and also uh, we can activate their 
both vocabulary and memory on the colors and also we can ask them uh, to well, in in this focusing attention how many triangles are there in this picture how many squares and so on um, so this is the kind of uh, focusing attention thinking, um, critical thinking development. Uh, categorizing also uh, is presented in the book. For example, here uh, we are categorizing. Uh, uh -huh. we, uh, we can see uh, numbers. But the task is, it's the, the beginning of the second grade. Yeah, the task is, the target language is numbers from 11 to, uh, to 20. And uh, here we can ask to say, uh, what are these pictures? What are these books? Uh, how many different categories are there? Yeah, and students can count uh, the categories. Fruit, one, uh, or no, two categories of fruits, yeah, bananas and apples. Uh, school objects, they have to count, like rubbers, pencils, bags, uh, books, and I don't see what it is, I guess some stickers or something like that, some images. Um, how many people? Yeah, and or uh, uh, and so on. So uh, putting things into category uh, ca categories uh, is also about developing their higher um, thinking skills for future. Or here uh, we have an example, and we need to create four different trees. Can you tell me what are three other categories of the trees? I will open the questions again. Okay, tree of food, tree of clothes, tree of transport and tree of animals that's correct thank you very much so it takes us really little time but for kids uh it's a it's a critical thinking task to uh, to understand where everything should go yeah uh, they they need to complete a few processes in their heads and uh, we we give them the first hint and then they have to both categorize and put the words uh, into a correct tree. So actually they create the tasks and solve the tasks for themselves. Um, and another kind of activity uh, in, again, in Quick Minds, it's comparisons. And here we need to say what's in common and what's different. And we see that uh, the common things we put in this column in the uh, column between the pictures and <clears throat> different things in two other columns. And here we can see uh, round, round noses, yes, yeah? so shape, nose shape, yeah, different color, color of the no no nose color, hair color, uh, hats, both have hats, but color of hats are different and so on different clothes different eyes we ask um, we ask students to compare everything they can see but tell you something specific for example what exactly is in common uh, another uh, we can um, well we can make these uh, again diagrams with fruit, vegetable, other, and it's understandable what we put here. But for example, this uh, diagram is a bit harder. They have to, uh, they have to think what sets of uh, vocabulary they can put here. Land, water, and air. And we ask uh, students, what can it be? 
what is in the air. And uh, these are two categories that can work with this diagram. Yeah, um, transport and um, what else? Okay, somebody writes there, transport and animals. Yeah, so we can think about what animals uh, can live on the land, in the water, air, what kinds of transport can be in these different things. So it takes even us to think a little bit uh, to switch on. The same with kids. Uh, building the zoo or this kind of activities uh, is also good for critical thinking and for um, for maybe uh, some social responsibilities and awareness. But uh, I would say that the zoo is not the best example. Maybe building a park, natural park for animals. Uh, still, there are lots of activities about the zoo uh, in okay somebody writes about pollution and temperature uh, for the previous task yeah thank you thank you that's a great one we can also use it with uh, with teenagers um, right uh, so if we are talking uh, about this kind of activity uh, we need to think what animals go to different categories yeah uh, and again we have category but we need to take animals from our head and uh, say that fish go to the pool crocodile go to the pool um, and so on crocodiles go to the pool uh, who goes to cages i would say nobody but still it's the kind of task we have it's not from quick minds it's a handout and uh, it might be interesting to remake it uh, into into uh, in some park for animals uh, recycling also works not only with categorizing but also with social responsibilities uh, yeah to uh, recycle uh, recycle the used materials and i know that in many schools uh, students do that together with teachers sequencing is also critical thinking uh, task and for example to do it uh, to do it with kids my favorite is to sequence a story to uh, copy cut and uh, hand out the cards of the stories and ask students to put them into the correct order, what happened after what, and then uh, to uh, let them listen and compare with the book. Of course, there will be students who remember it from the book because, uh, well, I remember myself, I was always uh, looking through the whole book before, uh, before the lesson. Uh, and knew what's going to happen on the page. Yeah, and there are lots of students like that. But still, uh, this is memory and this is how they activate it and they might help other students uh, to solve this, uh, th this, well, problem to sequence the story and put it into the correct order. And then they uh, listen to the story, reorder whatever, whenever they um, put it into the wrong place and then they compare it with the book. Uh, another task. What do you think? What do you think is the task here? What's in common? What's for school, make a story. Hmm. Types of materials, yeah, that's a good one. Adjectives, okay. Connect the necessary things. Oh, that's that's also a good one. That's for, more for creativity. What is it made of? Okay. Oh, someone says, what floats? say it in english yeah okay so um what is it made of it's lower order thinking skills 
what uh, compare describe it's also lower order thinking skills if we want to talk about uh, higher order thinking skills we need to consider a few um, a few processes and uh, the first process is that I asked you to create a task for um, to, to create a question for this task uh, my task somebody said that what will float uh, and here, will it sink or will it float? And students have to think, what will happen if we put it in water? Yeah, and uh, there are much more processes and also their life experience included into this task. Uh, that's where critical thinking starts. Yeah, the um, students think of all the sources uh, of information. What is it made of? what's inside it for example yeah, if it's a bottle is it full or is it empty so will it float or sink uh, what this is made of it's wood then it's flo it will float it's uh, steel it will think and so on apple the same is there air inside of an apple or not and um, this is active process in which students uh, oh i've got a great question from natalia Will it roll or not? That's that's a great one. Thank you. So uh, you see, creating a task is also critical thinking uh, activity. Uh, okay, I will omit this. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so critical thinking is important skill both in everyday life and for uh, academic studies. Bloom's revised taxonomy, a well-known useful tool for understanding different critical thinking processes. LOTS, which is lower order thinking skills, remember, understand, apply. HOTS, which is uh, higher order thinking skills, analyze, evaluate and create. Beware logical fallacies, which we omitted with you. Uh, so we have time for a question answer, um, question answer session. Uh, and before we proceed to question answer, I will just show you where all the examples, uh, fr from where all the examples were taken. Uh, these are our um, uh, adapted for Ukraine, Eng uh, quick minds one and two for Ukraine. They go with, uh, with the the pupils book uh, goes with the activity book which you can buy from our managers uh, on a very very attractive price both of them are licensed by the minister of education and sites of ukraine uh, if you are interested in teachers books if you received the quick minds from the government and you are uh, your libraries are equipped with the books then uh, you have the possibility to get the teacher's book and the link will be a bit sooner on our website you uh, so follow our news on linguist ua and publishing linguist ua or on facebook you will see all the information there uh, all the uh, annual plans are available on our publishing.linguist.ua website. I will show you, uh, or on linguist.ua, you can see the name of the website at the picture. Um, also available the teachers' resource packs. Uh, all the audio is online and flashcards, uh, which you can get separately. Uh, and also there is a free online resource, uh, which you can find at the Publishing Linguist UA website. Uh, all the components have uh, the license from the ministry. Uh, and here are some uh, some other items you can get, which are samples, uh, online resource, more samples, uh, and audio to the uh, to, to the uh, both courses. And here in the right corner, uh, right bottom corner, you can see the name of the website. Um, also, more from the linguist publishing. 
it's super alphabet book what's new uh yeah it's super alphabet book super dictionary book super puzzles book posters and here they are super alphabet book only for the uh, first grade super dictionary and super puzzles for both the first and the second grade uh, all have the license together with the posters, uh, which are not just beautiful posters, but also uh, games and tasks for revision uh, from the Quick Minds book um, the course or any other if needed. Uh, so all of these components go as um, you know, supplementary components, not only with Quick Minds, but any other materials you use, because they are, are designed according to the standards of the new Ukrainian school. And I would like to show you the Super Puzzles book, uh, which is um, about our topic, yeah, critical thinking tasks. Sorry. It moves on its own. Uh, we have topic-based units in accordance with the new Ukrainian school standards. You can see here classroom objects, animals, furniture, and so on for the second grade. Uh, and they, these tasks uh, grow gradually become more and more complicated. You can see uh, different language skills development and thinking skills development. Uh, and yeah, uh, first, there are two systems, one system involved, then two, second system, uh, the, the systems we were talking about at the first lesson, uh, at the first part of the webinar, sorry, it goes on its own so fast. Um, so both systems are included at the end and the final task is usually something creative, uh, so it's the highest order thinking skills involved. Uh, for free, you can find quick notes on our linguist, uh, publishing.linguist.ua website. Uh, and also, uh, those who registered to Cambridge Back to School Conference, thank you. Those who didn't, uh, we will be happy to see you next time. Uh, if you uh, have a chance to register now, you can do that. Uh, we will be closing the registration today and unfortunately all the uh, seats are limited. So uh, thank you those who registered. I'm sure there are lots of you who did. Um, about certificates, you will receive the certificates within a week attached to your thank you letter. Be sure to check your junk mail folder as well, not just uh, the incoming letters. Uh, and uh, if you um, if uh, you didn't receive your thank you letter in a week, uh, there might be uh, some uh, well, it depends on, on this platform and on this system that is responsible for the webinars. Uh, it might come to you even in two or three weeks. I am sorry for that, but there are so many participants that system portions all the certificates and sends them out uh, in different times. So don't worry, you will receive it uh, maybe later, maybe today, uh, but most probably within a week. And yeah, check your junk email. Uh, to find more information about skills and other interesting activities you can use at the lessons, visit our uh, language research uh, website. Uh, the uh, link, you will find the link in your thank you letter, as well as podcasts about critical thinking, as well as um, the proper definition of a revised Bloom's taxonomy and so on. So now we've got three minutes for question answer. Okay, I've got a lot of thank yous. Thank you, thank you very much too. Thank you for listening and uh, taking really active part this time.
The books for the third grade will be available after the 10th of September, as far as I uh, know. For pilot schools, yes. Um, more information after 10th of September, they will be uh, they will start sending them out. Uh, for now, all I know that yeah, they will be there after 10th of September. Okay, a lot of thank yous. Thank you too. Thank you very much. Uh, the link, the link about the conference. Well, you can, but we we, we are closing the registration today, uh, so you have to hurry up. Okay, I guess this is it. Thank you very much and see you at the next webinar in September. These are my contact details or you can write to um, linguists or to your manager. They will contact us, um, which is here. Yeah, if you have any questions about the books, contact us and we will be happy to answer. Thank you very much. This is it. Have a great evening and have a great week because it's just Monday today. <laughs>